Hey guys, it's Nick from Retro Games HQ, and today I am talking about Laxidays. Now, I am going to go through the, fir the dev's first blog post, but I also have exclusive information from the dev team of Laxidays. I asked them a few questions, they answered it. It's pretty freaking cool. Okay, so let's go through this, and uh, I'm going to go through the first blog post kind of fast, and then I'm going to get to... Uh, the information that I got. Now, if you want to go see this, I'll have the link in the description below to this and their Discord. So, let's get into it. So, what is Laxidays? This is a brief dev blog on an upcoming monster taming ARPG. So, let's see. Hey, everyone. Welcome to the first dev blog on the game we're, we've, uh, we're developing called Laxidays. So, let's go to the world and story. Laxidays is set on Earth in the fu far future where city-states have replaced modern countries. Our story takes place in the region and city-state of Cascadia located on the Pacific Northwest of North America. Cascadia is governed and controlled by the largest corporation in the region, Nile Corp. Nile Corp is ruled by the seemingly benevolent but ruthless CEO, Mr. Baz. So I'm guessing there is Mr. Baz right there. Although it started as a logistics company, Nile Corp's largest source of revenue comes from its production and maintenance of nanobots, NBs for sure. For short, NBs are microscopic robots that can perform the functions of organic cells and increase the rate of revolution in any organic slash inorganic matter they infect. Anyone or anything infected with NBs has a small chance of receiving various mutations that can result in special abilities. Seemingly futuristic, nanobots are actually a, an ancient technology whose origins and inner workings remain unknown to the residents of Cascadia. Although the knowledge of NBs may be limited, the use of them is widespread by humans. This widespread use has caused NBs to pollute various ecological areas surrounding Cascadia. This has led to the rise of animals, plants, and inorganic materials being infected with NBs. Anything infected with NBs that develops a special ability is referred to as a nanim. So that's the name of uh, their monsters, nanims. Below are two images of existing nanims that exist in the world of Laxidays. Freaking Loch Ness monster and a wolf. Both look freaking awesome. So what about the gameplay mechanics? Well, Laxidays is a monster taming ARPG inspired by many of our favorite games. These inspirations uh, include Pokemon, Persona, Final Fantasy VII, and Mass Effect. In making Laxidays, we wanted to, make, uh, to take our favorite parts of each game and meld them into something we'd love to play. Regarding the Pokemon inspiration, Laxidays features monster taming akin to Pokemon. Nanims in the game can be recruited to your party to help you in battle. Since these creatures are intelligent, they can be very useful allies in battle. Laxidays features a summoning system where the player can fill a meter that allows you to summon your chosen Nanim friend into battle. Each Nanim is unique and has a set of abilities to aid you and your squad mates in battle. As a player, uh, you've been infected by NBs, which, you've, uh, which have given you special powers. The same is true for your squad mates. Throughout the game, you will recruit new squad mates and NMs to help you on your journey. We will give a more in-depth explanation of the combat when we do our combat reveal. Now, Laxidays will feature social gameplay as well as combat. This is where the Persona inspiration comes into play. Each squad mate you recruit in Laxidays has their own story and social link which can be leveled up through various dialogue options and quests. By leveling your uh, social links up, you gain advantages in combat and in social scenarios. So, they go on to say that in the coming weeks, they'll be showing off the combat system and new dialogue system. Uh, pretty much uh, follow their social media accounts, get in their Discord, sign up for their newsletter for updates, things like that. Again, I'm going to be linking to this page in the description below and their Discord, but hold on. I've got exclusive uh, information, and we're going to look at two Reddit posts afterwards, but make sure you uh, don't stop yet. This is where the good stuff uh, comes in. Okay, so I asked them a few questions. I'll say where I asked them, then I'll give, them, uh, give you their answer. So I asked, how many types will it have? How many types will, you know, Laxidays have? They said... There will be six basic types and six special types. The special types are themselves an evolution of the basic types. For instance, water is a basic type and ice is a special type. Nanims will have one or two types with no restrictions on cross types. For instance, flame and ice can happen. Here's a list of the types followed by the special types. So, electric is the basic, evolves into voltaic the special, water to ice, Flame to radiation, air to sound, earth to alloy, nano to light. 
Now, Nano and Lot is their neutral type. So I asked, will there be shinies? And if so, can you tell the name of that class? They said, yeah, there will be color variations in nanims that have varying rarity. The name of that class of nanims is chromatic nanims, aka chromas for short. I asked, how open will the world be? Their answer was, the world will be split into various maps. Some are small and detailed, while some are large and open. We're heavily inspired by how Bioware crafts their worlds. Next question. I saw the post about riding a monster. Can you tell me how much water will be in the game, roughly? And their answer was, uh, relating back to how open the world is, a large portion of the world is a newly formed great lake called Cascadia Lake, which was formed from a meteor strike centuries before. This lake will have various islands that contain some of the game's areas, towns, and dungeons. There are various ways to travel between the islands, and riding Langskeeper is one of them, once you recruit them to your team. Okay, so what do you all feel makes the game the most unique? What we feel is most unique about Laxadays is that it is a monster-taming RPG with real-time combat that has you fighting alongside your monsters, Nanims, instead of having you fight for uh, or having them fight for you. We also feel that our art direction and aesthetic is unique to the monster-taming genre as we are bringing a cyberpunk slash cassette future vibe. So, next question was taking into account the Mass Effect influence in the last bit of your first dev blog. Can you tell me if there will be multiple endings? And they said, although there will be choices in a game, there will not be any choices that change the ending. We feel like we have some, set some ambitious goals so far, and we want to make those a priority. Different endings would just distract us. Now, how long has the game been in development? And they said, we've been workshopping the idea for a while, but development began early this year. And the last question was, do you have a projection date for when a demo will be available or when you will fully release the game? Uh, their answer was, we're still very early in development. Our main focus is our Kickstarter as we are currently completely self-funded. We aim to launch a Kickstarter early next year. Our Kickstarter will, uh, will contain a roadmap for future development phases as well as any releases. And that is all, all of the information I got for you when it comes to exclusive information. Now I am going to show you two uh, Reddit posts before I go on. That's kind of cool. Here, so they're saying this is on their uh, Reddit, which is just a subreddit at reddit.com uh, forward slash r forward slash laxadays. But here we go. This is Yuki and her friend Luna, one of your companions in the game of laxadays. So that is definitely punk. Steampunk kind of thing. Cyberpunk. Well, cyberpunk, really. Um, I freaking, I really like the uh, animation, the lighting, the design. Especially of the... Was it Luna? Was that the name of that? Uh, okay, let's go. Okay, I was wondering. I thought it was looping for a second. Yeah. Alright. Here's another one. Which is... Since you guys liked Lang Skipper the last the first time, I thought you might enjoy the routing mechanics they've recently implemented. So this is probably in the Lake Cascadia as they were talking about. So look at that. My gosh. First off, graphics for waters uh, for water is oh, there's another one that just flew by. But uh, uh, oh, that's even like um, Wind Waker, the wind. But waves and water in general is actually something that's difficult to get right. But that's all for this video, so I want to go ahead and just recap on a few things um, at the end. So there's going to be six basic types and six special types. The special types are kind of evolutions of their basic types. There's going to be shinies. Uh, the world's going to be split in different maps. You're going to be able to ride your monster. Uh, you, it's pretty much a large portion of the world is going to be Cascadia Lake, which I think we just saw, which was formed by a meteor strike. And then, so, they feel like what's unique about their game is that it's a monster-taming RPG with real-time combat where you fight alongside with your monster. Plus, they got the cyberpunk slash cassette future vibe. Uh, if you look more into their stuff and you think Final Fantasy VII, uh, I, I am like, hmm, I do see maybe some aesthetic inspiration. 
Now, even though they are influenced by Mass Effect, they're not going to have multiple endings. The development's only been since this early, well, early this year, which honestly is almost a year, depending on when they mean um, early this year. And the projection date for a demo, uh, they're not sure yet because they're very early in development, but they do want to get a Kickstarter off very, uh, what they say, early next year. So make sure you pay attention to that. Anyways, that's all the information I got for you guys. Um, thank you. I just thank you for uh, watching this video, listening to this video. If you haven't already, subscribe. Very few of you all watching actually are subscribed, and you can always unsubscribe if you don't want to. Um, have my stuff popping up later on. No big deal. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. And retro on.